A chemical battery is usually our first thought when it comes to energy storage, but another less known but promising solution, and one that far predates any modern battery, is the flywheel. This relatively simple mechanical battery, with high power density, high efficiency, low maintenance, long lifespan, and no carbon emissions, is quite exceptional. But how does it compare to other energy storage technologies? As the world shifts from fossil fuels toward renewable energy sources such as solar and wind that aren't available 24-7, energy storage technologies play a vital role in balancing the supply and demand. Lithium-ion batteries are the front-runner for consumer electronics, EVs, and grid-scale energy storage, with a global market of 46 billion US dollars expected to double by 2026. A dual-function electric motor is used to accelerate the flywheel, which is a rotating mass that stores kinetic energy, and when the power supply is cut off and when energy is needed, the motor operates like a generator. And the spinning flywheel force drives a device similar to a turbine to produce electricity, consequently slowing the rate of rotation. A flywheel is recharged by using the motor to increase its rotational speed once again. The amount of energy that can be stored in a rotational mass is directly proportional to the moment of inertia and the square of its angular velocity. The moment of inertia is dependent on the mass and diameter of the flywheel. So, to increase the amount of energy stored in a flywheel, its mass or size must be increased or the speed at which it rotates must be increased. The maximum operating speed of a flywheel is limited by the material strength of the flywheel rotor. Since the late 20th century, the modern flywheel, developed expressly for energy storage, known as Flywheel Energy Storage Systems, or FESS, has been mostly used. Flywheel shapes that have been used range from the wagon wheel configuration found in stationary steam engines to the mass-produced discs found in internal combustion engines. Flywheels are mostly designed in two shapes. Solid discs or long cylinders are usually constructed from isotropic materials such as steel, while hollow cylinders or tubes are constructed from carbon and glass fiber reinforced composites. Bearings support the flywheel rotor while allowing it to spin at high velocities. Ball bearings and active magnetic bearings are the two most common bearing types used in flywheel systems. Ball bearings are a simple, more common and less expensive alternative to active magnetic bearings but are challenged by the life and load requirements due to the gyroscopic forces and the friction it generates. Active magnetic bearings levitate and they are free from contact, therefore free from wear and also helps increase the efficiency due to their minimal losses. The flywheel is charged and discharged by a double function motor generator which which is usually attached to the rotor by a hub and a shaft. A wide variety of motor types have been deployed. Synchronous reluctance, induction, as well as many types of permanent magnet machines. FESS is housed in a vacuumed enclosure to reduce aerodynamic drag with an energy efficiency that can be as high as 90%. FESS are especially attractive for applications requiring frequent cycling given that they can undergo many charge-discharge cycles with almost no wear. Flywheels are used to provide large electrical grids with an energy storage buffer for sudden changes in demand and supply to prevent widespread power outages. The Electromagnetic Aircraft Launch System, or EMALS, on aircraft carriers utilize flywheels to launch heavier aircraft by using much less energy. The system can fully charge in 45 seconds and can store 121 megajoules of extractable energy at full charge. Large research facilities such as JET use FESS to conduct fusion tests for plasma pulses of up to 1000 megawatts. FESS is also used in roller coaster launch systems. Flywheel systems are most commonly used in providing temporary backup electrical power to support the load of a critical facility such as a hospital or data center. Mobile applications of FESS are used as hybrid propulsion systems in motorsport such as the Audi R18 e-tron. Spacecraft such as the International Space Station utilize flywheels as control moment gyros to stabilize and orientate the spacecraft. Flywheels have been used for thousands of years and originated in the potter's wheel and water wheels with the best known flywheels dating from the industrial revolution where it was used in steam engines. Modern flywheels have been used in gyro buses since the 1950s where the flywheel is mounted between the rear engine of the bus and the rear axle. Whenever the bus brakes, the flywheel works as a regenerative brake, absorbing kinetic energy and slowing the vehicle down. In the last few years, Formula One race cars have been using flywheels to provide a power boost 
boost via curse, which is a flywheel spinning at 64,000 RPM that absorbs energy that would be lost as heat during braking. When activated, the flywheel temporarily engages with the car's drivetrain and gives a brief speed boost. Flywheels still need to overcome a significant barrier before it can solve the task of storing renewable energy. Although flywheels have a high efficiency and very short startup time, they are still very expensive when compared to other alternatives and lithium-ion batteries. And with the continuous decline of lithium-ion battery prices, it will be difficult to utilize FESS as a viable energy storage solution except for very specific applications. Some developments that can significantly enhance flywheel performance and make it more competitive with batteries are the development of new materials with high strength and low density, and superconducting bearings, which can reduce the friction loss since it enables increased rotating speeds and decreases self-discharge rates. As electric connected energy storage systems, flywheels must compete with batteries and ultra capacitors on the basis of cost. For low cycle applications such as electric vehicles, flywheels are unlikely to achieve the already low incremental energy cost of batteries. However, applications requiring a million cycles and a calendar life of decades may continue to be well served by flywheels as battery lifespan remains much lower than this.